check this out. There you go. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. It's a Sunday today, and we are about to catch some giant mud crabs. Yes, we are going to crabs in our area. Yes. My sister and I are going to try to catch some mud crabs with ju just the two of us and right now we are near the mangrove system and we are about to set our traps. So come join us, okay? Let's go! So we are now entering the mangrove system. No, don't go that way. <laughs> go this way, the right way over there. Yeah, let's go here. We have to enter in to the heart of the mangrove forest and it's just the two of us so this is gonna be a challenge and if we can't get any I would cry <laughs> Guys, these are mangrove clams. We do have a vlog about this. If you want to watch it, just check out our but uploaded videos. They actually see shells. It only means one thing, they do live in the area and there are so many of them here. And we're almost to the site. Let's go! We're here. Yep, we here? we're here. <laughs> yes. Look at that. See that? So, we also heard that there are crocs here. And sea snakes. Yeah, crocs and sea snakes, so we have to be careful. And other organisms. Yup. Dangerous organisms. <laughs> okay, let's do this! <laughs> We're setting <laughs> We're setting the first trap over here and we need rock, a rock as well. Can I tell them what, what our bait is? To hold it down. Oh, our bait inside the can, the tin can, is just sardines. Yeah. Put it, put it, put it. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> Trap number one is set. Let's I set the back. other trap. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck. It's Wait. so muddy. It's My hard. Are stuck. It's hard, but we're still doing it. So we're setting the second trap. Can you show them the can first, please? So the reason why, the reason why we put our bait inside tin cans is because um, in order for the bait to actually last long, because small fishes or shrimps would eventually devour them if we don't put it inside um, a tin can. That's what the locals normally do when they... Yes, there are snakes here. Of course there yeah, are snakes. Of course there are snakes here. <laughs> and yet we're still here. No. Putting the second trap. I feel like the rock won't hold. I need a bigger rock. Maybe like just get the rocks on top of the prop roots of that mangrove. Guys, if you're wondering why there are rocks on top of those prop roots, it's because um, islanders, of course, we use the same traps, so we always need rocks. And when they actually get the traps, they just put the rocks on top of the roots. already and the sun is already about to set now and we it's already, already um the water is already coming 
the and water is also rising so we are going to the mangrove system again yeah, and we're check our traps and see if we caught some mud crabs yes and we're hoping that you know we have some catch today because we've been waiting here for four hours just hanging out mm -hmm. but it and was fun it was fun hanging out here yeah it was fun so let's go check our traps let's go i'm excited and nervous and afraid <laughs> guys we're about to check, check our traps see if we did can get the stone the, i mean the rock first let's play first <laughs> well, we're brave Let's up there. go! There's some mud crab here. Oh my god. Don't yeah, get it right away because uh, there might be a mud crab and you might. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Check this out! Can you see my smile now? <laughs> it's just me and my sister today and we're so glad yes. that we caught this! I have no idea how to put it in the bucket. I mean, honestly, I have no idea. The last time we had help from one of the crew yeah, members. Yeah, but we do, I did bring a sister just for... I don't even know why I brought a sister when this probably won't help us. Oh my god, this is so hard! How are we supposed to like put it inside? Can I feel like I'll take that out later. Uh, okay. Faster, yes! Oh my gosh. There Finally! You go. Okay, there you go. There's our mud crab. Yay. Guys. He lost <sighs> one one claw, but that's fine. But I'm sorry, mud crab. Thank you for the food that you're gonna provide us. Yes. Hi guys, we are now back at home, and unfortunately, earlier our camera died on us. Um, I wasn't able to charge it fully, and my GoPro even shut down after 10 seconds of filming because I also forgot to charge it. And even though we were careless, we were very lucky because on our second trap, we actually caught another mud crab which is a bigger one compared to the first. Let me show you. Check that out, guys. See, this is the first one that we caught. And then the second one, which is a bit bigger. I'm excited. We're about to have mud crabs for dinner. You already know that we do steam our crabs, mud crabs with soda. So there you go, that's soda and let it steam and let it cook. Some more soy sauce for flavor. Guys, I just wanted to show you that in the Philippines, um, mud crabs caught from the wild should be at least 12 centimeters. And as you can see, the one that we caught is almost 15 and this is the smaller one out of the two so this is legal and also it's, it's a male if you watch our previous log vlogs you'd know that a male means it has a triangular flap because the female has a broad flap and then let's get the other Col wow wow Can't even like crack it properly. Sounds like a building house. Yes. Oh no, I haven't. There. That's how you crack a mud crab properly. Look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? So we're now about to open the mud crab, guys. I don't know how you open it in your place, but this is how we do it. Still kind of hot. This is so hard because it's so hot. 
There you go. So meaty. Yeah, this mud crab is so meaty. These are the gills. These ones, it's so hot, so um, I'll use this and take it out because these are not edible, obviously. We're now cutting this. Dude, look at that mud crab. Okay, take up this flap. Got it. This is such a meaty mud crab, guys. Look. Look. There you go. Look at that, guys. seafood ever because it tastes no pop what are you doing here it tastes so good it tastes even so if good. you don't have to cook it in in so many spices yes it still tastes good and i can probably eat all of this <laughs> just us i don't mm. mm. want to eat no back no 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 you haven't tried this so guys while we continue eat this this is it for today's episode and we hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you like watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> and if you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. Yes. The Island Crew, we appreciate it so much. See you next time. Bye! Bye.